<laughs> Anger and violence can be attributed to many things. You might have had a bad day at work. You got a bad grade on a midterm. Or someone's attitude just rubbed you the wrong way. But what if someone told you your anger or violent actions could be attributed to video games? The back and forth debate on whether video games have an effect on your temper can be put to rest because of a recent study conducted by one professor here at Iowa State. Craig Anderson, distinguished professor of psychology whose professional emphasis is in human aggression via media violence, recently published a psychological study, which was printed in a few of the world's top scientific journals and headlined the Wall Street Journal and USA Today. In his study, Anderson looked at all of the studies that have been done on video game violence and came to a very concrete and seemingly final conclusion. And the results are that uh, uh, playing violent video games increases aggressive behavior, increases aggressive thinking, um, increases aggressive affect or what you might think of as anger or, or emotion. Um, it also increases uh, uh, desensitization or what you might think of as lack of empathy. Um, and it decreases uh, helping behavior, pro-social behavior. Anderson makes clear in his study that just because one plays a video game once and has no elevated aggressive acts, doesn't mean that those instances are evidence against the results. He also knows that there have been many attempts to foil the results through the media, especially from the video game industry. You know, any big money industry, I mean, the tobacco industry did that, the lead industry's done that. I mean, every in major industry that has been found to produce a product that's harmful and under at least some circumstances, uh, it's like they have a playbook about how to delay uh, action, how to keep the general public confused. Now that the study has become mainstream, what does Anderson suggest the next step be when dealing with the effects of media violence? We raised our kids on video games, uh, but not on violent games. Uh, there are lots of very good non-violent games out there uh, that are you know, a lot of fun, uh, but they tend to not get the advertising budget. We could see some vast improvements in the uh, rating systems, uh, not just for video games, but for television content and movie content and so on. They're screen screening for how much blood and gore is in it. So an E-rated game that's basically a shooter game uh, <laughs> won't have a lot of blood and gore, won't have screams of agony. Uh, that's how it gets its E rating, but it's still a shooter game. It's still teaching this concept that the way you solve a conflict uh, is to kill or injure, physically confront and, and fight the bad guys. Only time will tell if this study will have a substantive effect on the world of gamers. For iState News with Nick Oberender, I'm Jared Ransom.